How's it going everyone? My name is Matt from FX Replay and today we're going to dive into the charts to review a indicator, a new indicator and a new feature that will really, really help with your back testing uh, specifically if you are a fan of ICT's teachings. Okay, so let's jump in and let's go over them. Okay, so we are now into the FX Replay session here on S&P 500. So as you can see here, and what I wanted to introduce to you guys quickly is going to be the new silver bullet ICT indicator. Okay, so how to get to it, you just click indicators, you can type in FX, or you can just type in silver bullet, and you'll see it right here, you can favorite it and do whatever you want with it. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to just upload it here. And boom, here it is. Now let's dive through the settings. And so you can see how to use it. And so you can configure it into the manner that you would like to use it. Okay, so let's go into settings here, with this little gear icon. I'll drag this over here. And what you can see here, it starts off by, you know, your the max candles that are going to be analyzed. And what this means is essentially, it's just going to go back in time, how many candles back in time is it going to be using as a reference, and it's going to be 1500. Well, we have found um, that 1500 works really well on the one minute time frame. Again, you guys can mess with it and see which one works with you and uh, which one doesn't, right? So that's up to you guys. Um, Next, we have our session. So if you want to highlight and you want to trade the London session silver bullet, okay, you can trade that one. If you want to trade the PM session, you can trade that one. And if you want to just trade the uh, New York AM session, you can do that as well. That's personally what I would prefer to do because this is the time frame that I uh, like to trade and uh, that I trade in. And so therefore it works, okay? Now, uh, if you want, you can show the label, right or not. Depends, up to you. You can change the size, so, you know, to, to fit your needs. Next, what we're going to be looking at is going to be these liquidity pools. So we can either show the liquidity, right? If we just want to mark them in ourselves and we want to be very specific with that, that's fine. We can do that. Or if we want them drawn out automatically for us based off some nice swing points, then we can do that as well. Okay. Um, what we can do is we can increase the amount of pools that is going to be referred to here by just clicking up this liquidity limit. Okay. So it's going to just go back in time. Um, and, and see, okay, well, where were the swing highs and swing lows? Okay. Now, if you don't want them to overlap like that, you can just click mitigate, which will just show you the ones, the active ones that haven't been targeted yet. So you can see here that we have some nice equal highs forming up here. And if you really want to make it nice and visually appealing, you can extend that out in the future, just like so. Okay. So if we're expecting this next, this next hour to be bullish, to take out all these equal highs, well then guess what? Uh, you know, we're going to have it, everything here listed for us. We don't have to worry. We don't have to draw on anything. We have everything configured to our liking. Okay. Now you can color it the way that you want it. You can change the line, the width. You can also change the label size, right? If you want it to say to be smaller, you can take it off. You can do whatever you want. This is fully, fully customizable. Okay. Finally, uh, in the FVG portion of it. So as you can see here, we have a couple boxes right here, a couple uh, or a box right here. And so if you want, if you don't want them on, no worries, you can hide them. Okay. If you want to extend the boxes, so you know, you know where they are during the session, you can, you can extend them there perfectly. Um, you can take off FVG mitigation, which is essentially, it's going to hide the ones that have already been dabbled into. Okay. And and so, or it's going to turn them on. And then if you want to hide them, you just check off that FEG mitigation. Now you can leave them on and then you can just say, Hey, I don't even want to see any of the ones that have been outside of the sessions. I just want to see the ones that have been within the sessions. Okay. So that is uh, something that you can do. And you can see here a little FEG popped up just a tiny, tiny one right there to start off the session. Okay. And now it's only showing the ones within the sessions due to that feature. Now, um, finally, the last portion of this that you can do is you can adjust if you want to see that 50% line. Okay. So 50% of that FEG or that consequent encroachment as ICT calls it. Okay. We can add that just by doing it right here. And again, fully customizable to however you'd like it. And that was the whole purpose of this, right? You guys request this a lot. And so we wanted to add it and make it as customizable as possible. So it can fit your needs and wants as the user, right? So. Another cool thing. So let's just play through this one. Okay. We can start to see here. Hey, look at, there's a fair value gap here. Again, we have this liquidity up here. Let's see if it's going to dabble back down and shoot back up. Okay. No, it fell back down, took out some liquidity down here. Okay. There still is buy side up there. So let's see if we'll get an, get an expansion out. There you go. Let's see if this fair value gap will get dabbled into one there, one potentially here and now up. Boom. There you go. Okay. So now say we took those trades and now we are done in that session. 
Instead of skipping through and having to waste time doing that, we've now added a new cool feature. It's called the go to feature. And what you want to do is you can set it up so you can, let's go into the custom settings first of all. So if you, you can show whatever you want. So you just click these little star icons and say you want to go to the next session. And so you can have that saved up there or more specifically and say, hey, I don't even want to go to the Asian session. I don't want to go London. Like I just trade New York so I can just flag that and I can change the time to however, to whenever I want it to be, right? My own custom timing and, and that's all I want, right? So, and then the next day open settings, right? I can skip it to the next day, whether that be at 17 or midnight, whatever you decide. Or what we added here was the silver bullet section. So say for example, I don't even want to go into the next silver bullet. Like I don't want to go into London. I don't want to go into the PM session. I just want this AM session. So what I'll do is I'll click it on and I'll save that. Now, even though we're halfway through this one here, I can go to silver bullet, New York AM. And guess what's going to happen? It's going to shift me in the future to the next uh, silver bullet session at 10 a.m. on the next day. So we don't have to waste any time at all. We can just continue to uh, efficiently test and that's it. So I hope that this one uh, gets you guys excited. For me, it gets me super fired up. And what we're gonna do with this uh, series that we're starting, this is gonna be the first video of the series. The next one, we'll go through a bunch of trades using the ICT silver bullet model. And then at the end, the final video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, review it all in the analytics section and really get some data-driven results from what we're doing here, okay? So I hope that that makes sense and I hope you guys really enjoy this feature. Test it out, use it a bunch. Let us know what you think. If there's anything that we can do to improve it, please let us know. All right, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day.